Imagine standing on the shore of a vast, dark ocean, casting a message in a bottle into the waves, hoping but never knowing if it will be found. This is the story of the Voyager mission. In 1977, we launched two spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, our bottles cast into the cosmic ocean. Their primary mission, explore the giant outer planets, their ultimate destiny journey beyond. Each Voyager carried a golden record, a time capsule of sounds, music, greetings, and images from Earth. Sounds, music, greetings, images from Earth. It was a bold statement of hope and curiosity, a piece of ourselves sent on a journey that could outlast our civilization. The odds of an alien civilization finding it are tiny, but the act itself speaks to our desire to connect, to be part of a larger cosmic story. These spacecraft were designed for a five-year mission, but something incredible happened. They just kept going. The Voyagers became the longest, running and most distant space mission in history, transforming our understanding of the planets from fuzzy points of light into dynamic, complex worlds. Voyager's story is twofold, a scientific revolution and a deeply human quest to explore and leave a legacy. It's about ingenuity, perseverance, and the unyielding quest for knowledge that defines us. The journey of these twin explorers would take them to the very edge of the sun's influence. and into the great unknown. Our message in a bottle, still drifting, still telling our story. The timing for Voyager was perfect, a rare planetary alignment that happens only once every 176 years. All four gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, were lined up so a single spacecraft could visit them all, using gravity assist like a cosmic billiards game. Voyager 2 was chosen for this grand tour. First stop, Jupiter, 1979. We saw the Great Red Spot as a raging storm, not a static feature, and discovered faint rings and a powerful magnetic field. Next, Saturn in 1981. Its rings revealed as thousands of icy ringlets, with mysterious spokes and shepherd moons shaping their paths. The mission was supposed to end there, but Voyager 2 was healthy, and the alignment still held. NASA made a bold choice. Send it onward to Uranus and Neptune, worlds never before visited. These distant planets were just blurry disks in our telescopes. Voyager 2 was about to embark on a lonely, decade-long voyage to reveal two entirely new worlds. The Grand Tour was just beginning. Voyager's Grand Tour wasn't just about planets, it was about their moons too. At Jupiter, we expected dead worlds. Instead, on Io, Voyager found erupting volcanoes, active geology beyond Earth for the first time. On Europa, images showed a cracked icy surface, hinting at a hidden ocean below. Saturn's Enceladus offered similar clues. These discoveries raised the possibility of life in the most unexpected places. At Neptune, Voyager 2 found the Great Dark Spot, a massive, short-lived storm with the fastest winds in the solar system. Even Neptune's moon Triton surprised us with geysers of nitrogen gas erupting from its frozen surface. These moons, once thought to be mere companions, became fascinating worlds in their own right. From volcanic Io to watery Europa and geysering Triton, Voyager transformed our view of the solar system. The mission revealed that even the coldest, most distant places can be dynamic and alive. The surprises kept coming each one rewriting what we thought we knew. Voyager's legacy, the solar system is far stranger, and more wonderful, than we ever imagined. After Neptune, Voyager 2's planetary mission was over, but its journey was not. Its new mission, reached the boundary of our solar system, where the sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. For decades, Voyager 2 traveled in silence, its cameras off, its instruments measuring the solar wind and the edge of the sun's protective bubble, the heliosphere. The heliosphere shields us from harsh cosmic radiation, creating a bubble around our solar system. Voyager 2's task. Find the heliopause, the boundary where the solar wind meets the interstellar medium. Inside, the sun dominates. Outside, the galaxy takes over. As Voyager 2 moved farther from home, the solar wind it measured began to slow and change. It entered the heliosheath, the turbulent outer layer of the bubble, where the solar wind becomes chaotic. The spacecraft was like a ship entering choppy waters before reaching a new shore. The frontier was close, and Voyager was about to make history. This was humanity's first chance to directly explore the edge of our solar system. The data it sent back would change our understanding of our place in the galaxy. The secrets of the frontier were about to be revealed. 
On November 5, 2018, Voyager 2 registered a sudden, dramatic change. The solar wind dropped to zero and cosmic rays surged. Voyager 2 had crossed the heliopause, leaving the sun's bubble and entering interstellar space. Unlike Voyager 1, Voyager 2's plasma instrument was still working, giving us the first direct measurements of the plasma on both sides of the boundary. The heliopause turned out to be a complex thick barrier, deflecting most cosmic rays and making our solar system a safer harbor than we realized. Voyager 2 measured the temperature and density of the interstellar medium for the first time. This was like dipping a thermometer into the cosmic ocean, real data from uncharted territory. The crossing was a monumental achievement, a testament to the longevity of this 1970s-era machine. Voyager 2 was now in the galaxy's neighborhood, sending back precious data from beyond the sun's reach. The moment marked a new era in space exploration, and what Voyager found there would stun scientists. As scientists analyzed Voyager 2's data, they found a shock. Just outside the heliopause, the plasma was far hotter than expected, up to 50,000 degrees Celsius. This wall of fire was a complete surprise, a cosmic shock front where interstellar gas is compressed and heated. The magnetic field, too, defied expectations. Inside and outside the heliopause, it was almost perfectly aligned. The sun's magnetic influence seemed to drape smoothly over the galaxy's field, extending further than anyone predicted. These discoveries changed our picture of the solar system's boundary, revealing it as a dynamic, energetic frontier. The heliopause is not a passive line, but a complex, ever-changing structure. Voyager's findings forced scientists to rethink how our solar system interacts with the galaxy. The universe, it turns out, always has new surprises. Today, Voyager 2 continues its lonely journey through interstellar space, over 20 billion kilometers from Earth. Its faint signals, captured by NASA's Deep Space Network, are billions of times weaker than a watch battery, yet carry priceless data. The spacecraft runs on dwindling power from its plutonium generators, each year more instruments are turned off to conserve energy. In 2024, its plasma instrument was powered down, leaving only a few detectors still active. Voyager 2 is our only direct source of information about the pristine interstellar medium, measuring plasma density, magnetic fields, and cosmic rays. This data is vital for understanding our galaxy and the conditions between the stars. The mission is expected to last until at least 2027, maybe longer. One day the signal will fall silent, but Voyager's journey will continue for millions of years. It will drift through the Milky Way, a silent ambassador from Earth, carrying our story on its golden record. Voyager 2 is a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity, sailing ever onward into the cosmic night. Voyager 2's legacy is immense, one of the most successful scientific missions ever. What began as a five-year tour became a 50-year odyssey, giving us our only close-up look at Uranus and Neptune. It transformed distant planets from abstract objects into real, dynamic worlds each with unique weather and moons. Voyager 2 changed planetary science, revealing active volcanoes, hidden oceans, and geysers in places we never expected. It shattered the idea that geological activity was unique to Earth, opening new possibilities for life elsewhere. Its journey into interstellar space cemented its place in history, with discoveries like the Wall of Fire and the aligned magnetic fields at the heliopause. Voyager provided the first direct measurements of our solar system's boundary, anchoring our understanding of astrophysics. It answered old questions and gave us new ones to explore. Ultimately, Voyager 2 is a story about us, our curiosity, our drive to explore, and our desire to understand our place in the universe. It inspired generations, captured the famous pale blue dot, and gave us perspective on our fragile world. Voyager's journey reminds us of the importance of the quest for knowledge, as it sails on into the cosmic ocean, it carries our story forever.